Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please press the red subscribe button. Hi guys, uh, recently I bought a new fridge and it come in a big carton box. So before I discard the box, I thought I will make a camera obscura. In this video, you will see me trying out two kind of lens. The first one is a window lens and the second one is a projector lens. You watch to the end of this video to find out whether did I uh, manage to take a photo using this camera obscura. Okay, it doesn't really matter what kind of uh, can you use. It can be from a soft drink, from a beer. So uh, the matter is actually very thin. So you can just use a simple craft knife to just uh, cut it through. So I will cut a piece of the metal can. In fact, you just need a, a small piece, maybe this size. You can see that the metal is so thin that you can actually use a craft scissors to actually cut up the piece that you need. Okay. So I'm just going to do a rough cut, huh? something square. Right, so this is the piece of uh, metal that we use to make our pinhole. Right, so this is the pin I'm going to use. For my pinhole, uh, I am looking for about 1.1 mm pinhole size. Right. So this is 1.04, I think this will do for now. Okay, so I tape down the metal piece on a piece of wood and I'm ready to make my pinhole and before I make the actual pinhole I just have the ballpoint pen to press down lightly on the metal so that you will have an indentation okay something like this All right and then this will be the pinhole that I will put in. I hope you can see. And then with a mallet, I will mean, just give it a straight strike through. Right. Okay. And in this case, the pinhole is done. Ideally, we want the pinhole to be very uh, circular so that the image form will be sharp. Okay. So as the needle pierces through the metal, the other side will be a bit rough. So what we need to do is to use a, a sandpaper, a rough one, and try to uh, remove away the roughness. Right. We want the pinhole to be as perfect as possible and we can use a, a needle to just poke it through again and feel Place it somewhere here, right? And then enforce it with some black tip. Okay, so that's how the pinhole will look like. Uh, right, this is the fridge opening of course it's not light proof now uh, especially the top right top is empty especially the top is empty so I have to find something to cover it 
and then we can go inside here and take a look All right. so now this inside and uh, this how the pinhole look like from the inside So the idea is to make the box as uh, light proof as possible so you can see there are some uh, handle or holes here in, on the box I'm going to just to pay some black tape over it so that it will block the light and then later we'll think about how we can so called uh, soft the or seal up this side of the box here Okay, uh, this is the view from inside the box. This is the pinhole. The box is kind of small for my camera to focus correctly, but you can see the pinhole there. Okay, so we can see that the pinhole is very small. I am able to see the image in the uh, box itself with my eyes, but the camera is not able to capture it. Right. So what I'm going to do is to put a proper lens on one of this side and see if we can get something uh, with a proper lens with a bigger exposure sorry a bigger uh, aperture so I have this uh, big Sony projector lens it is a uh, it has a focal length of uh, 225 mm uh, supposedly to be f2.3 right it's a very beaten up piece of lens, so I actually use it for doing more experimental stuff. So let's cut a hole on the box itself and then put on the lens. Okay, sorry, I have to record using my handphone because uh, I'm really in I'm inside the box and the box is very tight and my digital camera could not focus in such a tiny space whereas my handphone can so yeah this is from inside the box you can see the big lens that I mounted on the box now All right really bright because of the big aperture it's supposedly to be f2.3 right, so let's take a look at the image that's being formed huh? I'm just holding out a piece of white paper All right. Okay. and then as I slowly move the paper from near the lens to away you will see that it will form a image on the paper itself okay. a bit soft because of its uh, wide open but you can see that it's actually forming a sharp image at this point uh, if I want to focus on the housing estate in the distance right? if I want to focus on something nearer like the plants then I have to move the paper back and then this is uh, the image that I will see right? Thank you for watching to this part of the video. As you can see, I did not manage to take any photos with this uh, camera obscura uh, for two reasons. The first one is that with the pinhole camera, if I were to use a photo paper as the photo negative, it will take a long time for a proper exposure. And I have not uh, come up with a way to get in and out of the carton box without fogging the paper. And I also can't stay inside the box for the exposure time because it will be too long, it will be too stuffy inside the box itself. Um, for the projector lens, uh, the aperture is much bigger. However, the focal length is shorter. So in order to do a proper exposure uh, when the lens is focused at infinity, the paper is only about this distance away from the lens and I do not have a frame to hold up the paper to do the exposure.
Right. So nevertheless, I find that this uh, activity uh, experiment to build the uh, camera obscura using the carton box is uh, fun and uh, I do learn a few things so I know what to watch out for if I ever build my next uh, camera obscura. And I again, I thank you for watching to the end of this video. Do give me your comments, your likes and to share this video. And finally, do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.